Hi, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have the Nokia 8800 Carbon Arts model. A um, couple of models available on the 8800, um, of which this is one of the higher end um, products. Um, and in fact, one of the higher end uh, products that uh, Nokia sell, in fact. This is almost £1,000, this particular model. So have a quick look at the uh, device. Um, and we'll unbox. The handset itself sits right on top. Nicely presented box, as you can see. Also with it, we have a Bluetooth headset, which is extremely small. And uh, this particular piece, this bit goes in here like so, for looping over your ear. As you, see, as you can see, a very small um, and lightweight Bluetooth headset there. Underneath we have a nice presented box with the CD-ROM and all the manuals. And uh, so that's your full manual and a getting started and accessories guide. There is a cleaning cloth and a pouch. And it is just a slip style pouch that the phone slides into. And uh, the idea of this part here is that when we push the handset in, we can actually then pull the strap, pull the strap to pull the handset back out. That's just leather or leather effect, um, no belt loop or anything, it's just to keep it neat. Battery, which is a reasonably large battery, it's a thousand milliamp hour. Uh, BL for you. USB sync charge cable, which is a standard USB one end and a micro USB the other. Charger, which again is micro USB, which is somewhat unusual for Nokia products. And then we have a desk stand, which is um, very heavy. <laughs> In actual fact, it's really well weighted. Um, inside there we have micro USB. And on the back you have a micro USB connector so you can use this uh, as a sync and charge station um, one or the other um, so that's pretty cool as I say that's pretty heavy so that's gonna be quite sturdy when you actually put it on the desk and you put that handset inside the docking station so as you can see a really nicely presented product in terms of packaging and layout and design the handset itself is uh, extremely shiny on the front it's actually made of carbon fiber and titanium now Having heard that it was made of carbon fibre and titanium, I thought it would be extremely lightweight. Um, in actual fact, it isn't. It's about 160 grams. And it does, does feel actually quite heavy in the hand because it isn't that large a device. On the front, we have a Cools VGA display, and it's actually OLED, so 240 by 320 OLED display, um, which is um, two inches diagonal. Below that, we have the D-pad up, down, left, right, and then a push button in the centre. Down the other side we have a push button on this side and a push button on the other side which allows us to uh, release the back cover which we'll do in just a moment. No other buttons actually around the outside of the device which is uh, kind of unusual. There's a power button on top um, and that's, a, that's about it. On the back we do have a camera which is a 3 megapixel camera. No flash as you can see um, and it's not autofocus, it's just a kind of a bog standard. Um, camera there. The back cover is released by actually pushing in the buttons on either side and then sliding the back cover down. Um, and that is really well fitted. Um, it may seem sort of a strange thing to say, but that fits extremely well. It's really precise in the fitment on there. Metal cover and obviously metal back anyway. Um, SIM card goes in here. We actually have got 4 gig of onboard memory. Um, which is just as well to be honest because um, you can't actually upgrade the memory. There's uh, no SIM card slot or anything, uh, there's no memory card slot. Um, that there is actually a loudspeaker grill, not uh, not a memory card slot, unfortunately. So that's um, you know, it's perhaps slightly disappointing for a high-end model, but um, possibly not the market that uh, Nokia are going for with uh, this particular handset. So uh, let's just put the cover back on and uh, let's power up. 
And uh, I do want to start up without a SIM card, that's fine. Probably need a Nokia tune, Nokia tune on the startup. So, in terms of the rest of the spec, while that's just starting up, it is only tri band, so um, you'll be able to use it in, yeah, okay, most countries, but uh, you probably won't get full coverage in uh, certain areas in the USA. Uh, it's only single band for 3G and it's a 2100 band. Um, as I say, 150 ish grams in weight, uh, 109 millimeters from top to bottom, 45 and a half wide, and 14.6 millimeters thick. The screen opens and slides up at the top there. As you can see, it's actually the screen kind of itself that moves up, reveals a T9 style keypad, which um, is pretty flat. And the keys are not entirely individual now. What I mean by that is there's no actual gap between the keys and they're fairly small. So it's a little bit, perhaps a little bit cumbersome to, to use, but I have got big fingers. So it is a really nice stylish looking device that I, um, I, I can't knock it on uh, in that respect. So let's just back out of there and we'll go into the menu. As you can see, it is pretty standard. Um, Nokia stuff, it is a uh, Series 40 um, operating system on here. Obviously with the included headset we do support Bluetooth and that is Bluetooth stereo um, but there is no Wi-Fi support unfortunately. Um, in terms of the rest of the you know, setup and everything else, it's pretty standard stuff. You can go into settings and you can change your profiles and themes. Uh, and the existing profile, um, unfortunately you can't see terribly well here because um, it's a bit bright, um, but the, the existing profile is actually set up to um, the theme is actually set up to kind of fit in well with the handset. It's kind of um, subdued and uh, and a sort of greyish colour, um, which works quite well. It's pretty cool. It's a very nice looking handset, uh, very stylish um, and quite impressive in that respect. And we're going to be doing a review on this over the next couple of weeks. And that review will be online on tracyandmap.co.uk very soon.